Hi friends, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome back to another JavaFX tutorial. In this episode, we're going to learn how to use the JavaFX text class. So let's get right into it. In Eclipse, let's create a new project. So File, New, Other, JavaFX Project, click Next. We'll call the project Text Demo. Click Next. We will add the JavaFX library to the class path. It's a user library and click Next. Choose the JavaFX and click Finish. And then click Finish. Let's open up the main.java file. Change to 600 by 400. Give our project a title. Text demo. The text object in JavaFX is similar to a label, but it descends from the shape object and therefore it can be formatted using methods that apply to shapes. It has a fill color, a stroke color, and because it's also a subclass of node, it can be styled with CSS and you can apply effects that can be applied to any node, such as a blur, a drop shadow, and reflection. So let's create and configure a text object. So to create a text object, we'll use the text class. Text, text equals new text. And we can provide the initial text in the constructor. This is some text. Organize our imports with Control Shift O. I'm going to add the text to the center area of the border pane, which is the root of our scene graph. So root dot set center text and we'll run the program and there is our text in the center area of the border pane. So what can we do with the text object? Well one of the things that we can do is we can set the text font so we can say text dot set font Dot font. And I'm going to use a font on my system called Roboto Black. You can also specify the font weight. Font weight dot bold. And the font size. And I'll specify 36 pixels run it again and we see now we have some big text because the text class is a subclass of the shape class it also has a fill color and a stroke color so let's see what those look like when applied to the text object text dot set fill and we'll use color dot yellow. Run. And now our text is in yellow. We can also set the stroke color, which is the outline color for the object or shape or text in this case. Text dot set stroke color dot green. We'll run and you'll see the difference. So now we should have a green outline for the text object. We can also set the width of the stroke. We'll set that to 1. 
Now it stands out just a little better with a stroke. Two, I think, would probably be too much. Well, let's have a look. A little too much, so I'll move that back to maybe 1.5 and see how that looks. We can set a strike through and an underline on the text. So let's first look at the strike through. Specify true. Now we should see a line through all of the text. Comment that out for the moment and I'll now underline the text. Again, true, and now the text should be underlined. We can add a drop shadow to the text. Text dot set effect shadow. Organize the imports and we'll run and you'll see now that there's a shadow around all of the text. We can add a reflection. Run. We'll see now that there is a reflection on the text. We can also set an effect as a blur on the text. And the text is blurred. If we have longer text, I'm just going to change the, the text that we have. This is some longer text that will wrap at a predetermined pixel width. So if we run that, we'll see that it kind of spills off the page. So let's set wrap text set set wrapping width. Let's set that to 500 pixels. Now, if we run, we'll see that we're wrapping at the 500 pixel mark. Not quite sure why it wraps here. Maybe it's because, let's just take the hyphen here, run that again. There. So, wrapping at a 500 pixel mark. We can also wrap by specifying a new line character at any point within the text. Now we have a new line where we put in the new line character and then otherwise it wraps at the 500 pixel mark. We can also specify the text alignment. Center the text. So now each line is centered on the screen. We can write justify so that we're all aligned flush to the right margin at 500 pixels. And we can also justify 
which will also justify the text at the left and right margin. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.